Well, we uh, started, so we may as well finish. We're returning to Makoyu. Uh, over in Zimbabwe, it's a well that's on its way down, being drilled by Invictus Energy. And uh, there was a press release out yesterday looking at the sort of the top half of the well and results so far. Uh, we thought uh, it's worth just having a, a, a reaction to uh, to that press release. So here's a copy of the press release, and as you can see, it was uh, yesterday, the 26th of October, this came out. And uh, a few uh, interesting things that we highlighted here. A 10 to 15 meter interval at around about the 200 horizon. Uh, I'm talking about separation between shallow, medium, and deep resistivity. Now, uh, this is uh, kind of interesting. Sometimes this can mean permeability and a, a permeable zone, but uh, have to look at everything um, all together. The mud log, gas readings, and uh, also the other logs, in particularly the uh, porosity logs, and understand really what the uh, what, what the mud system is and how that's working. So a few uh, technicalities there, but um, that was interesting. The heavy mud weight use in the holes. So decision was taken not to run uh, formation pressure testing uh, tools or to try and gather any samples from this uh, depth, which, um, uh, you know, we kind of wonder... Um, you know why? What, what what happened? There was no mention of the, uh, the the gas shows while drilling. Now we understand if it is tight and potentially a, a low rate of penetration by the drill bit, then there would be little to uh, to very low gas readings. Intrigued by the the heavy mud, understandably in a, a, a brand new uh, basin, a, a wildcat in a new basin. Uh, you are going to be uh, air on the side of caution, and uh, but you know if uh, the mud weight is too heavy, that 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 can also be uh, be a risk if uh, of losses and uh, a loss of well control. You know, wonder if uh, if the weight is required, does that suggest that uh, there's a hydrodynamic system uh, here? So again, from the press release, highlighting a couple more things. Um, you know, the company is saying, well, we need to go away and have a think about it, and maybe uh, drill a crestal location. We'll have a look at that on a. On, on a seismic line and also uh, on a map. Other than that, uh, basically looking at, uh, at, at the results so far, so summarizing at the sort of the 200 horizon, which is, which is this upper horizon here, talked about high resistivity, <clears throat> low porosity, that the zone was tight, um, that it was really quite a thin zone, so uh, not, a, not a major column of hydrocarbon, if indeed there is hydrocarbon here. Um, I talked of a complex mineralogy. Um, now, um, that, that would be interesting to, to understand, but, you know, some companies, uh, some unscrupulous companies would, uh, would actually put some heavy minerals in amongst the mix and thereby create porosity and generate pay. Completely and uh, totally wrong, of course, and incorrect, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure Invictus wouldn't do anything of the sort. Uh, no MDTs or fluid samples, so we really don't have anything to, to go by here. And uh, now, well, this zone is, is behind uh, behind casing, so it's essentially inaccessible. The information we have to date uh, is all we're going to get. So it does rather look like that uh, that top horizon. Um, we're saying it's, uh, it's probably not worked. Then uh, we know that the section TD is at uh, two kilometers, uh, 2,021 meters measured depth. So we will have passed through the 250, 300 horizon and the 400 horizon. Now, there was no uh, no comment about these and uh, uh, we'll assume that uh, both of those didn't work either. So uh, we can see that we've kind of got down through the section, um, three down three to go uh, there's only six uh, volumes shown on on the, the slide quoted there oh uh, yeah we we agree the uh, the major target is is still ahead and uh, it is good news that uh, there was indeed uh, some some uh, shaley sections in the well um the outcrops and, and the pre-drill had suggested it was a very sand rich overburden so this is um, this is pretty much where we are here uh, this is uh, again from the press release close to the fault plane is being cited well you could potentially get uh, further up di up dip here but not by much and given that this is a, a, a structure that that has seen uh, 
perhaps several uh, inversion episodes. Uh, the incremental gain of uh, pora perm going from this depth to, to this depth will not be very large in all probability. Um, here we are. So this is the uh, this is where the well is, and then these are the uh, these are the targets that uh, really the, the sort of the angua uh, level were most interest in the well. Um, to, to have a look again, just highlighting here, here is the uh, Makoyu well, and <clears throat> you can see that this is at the uh, the Horizon 200 level. So this is where it was drilled. So there's, the, there's potentially, um, you know, a very uh, small hydrocarbon column at best, but it was very, very tight rock. So um, it probably doesn't amount to very much at all. There are areas where we could actually uh, go up dip from uh, from the current location. Kind of reading this, uh, I think that's uh, each of those markers there is, is, is one kilometer. So it's too shallow to actually to be able to, to deviate a well to these locations. So it would actually mean a, a physical rig move uh, to, to get uh, to these locations. In particular, this one. And it's a very, very faulted area. So if the concerns are um, with pora perm degradation uh, near faults, then uh, this is not a great site. However, it does have the fact that, uh, you know, it is actually uh, any reach of any migrating hydrocarbons could actually come into this uh, this region here. And it's it's just possible that uh, there would be a, a shadow in in this part of the uh, part of the field here. Although this is where the... Um, the the uh, maximum positive AVO gradient is uh, is recorded as as seen on the map there. So uh, as ever, we wish Invictus every success for a safe and successful drilling operation. Uh, we agree the, uh, the the primary target is still to drill. Um, yeah, I mean it's certainly not going to be a, a forty three. Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon, a four point three um, <clears throat> billion barrel of oil equivalent uh, discovery. Uh, that has gone, um, and we still see that uh, the the targets ahead are still quite uh, quite high risk. But uh, we'll we'll follow this up. Uh, we've started, so we'll finish. And in terms of uh, investors, well, um, hey, caveat emptor. We do uh, we do think that uh, Invictus have put out a, a high quality uh, press release there summarizing it and, and, and this is in contrast to uh, an, another company exploring onshore Africa this is Recon Africa over in uh, Namibia you know the last press release that we found uh, on, on the website and, and we, you know we checked this morning it talks about the well that they drilled over there in uh, Namibia uh, the 8-2 well as it's known reaching uh, total depth on the 30th of August now two months on and uh, still no word as to what the well has uh, has found it's a third well it's called a stratigraphic test that's a, a lot of stratigraphic tests to be drilling we assume that uh, there's uh, targeting a, a, a structure or will be soon and the only news out there is uh, that Namcor's uh, five they've actually sold a uh, Five percent of the ten percent carried equity, they've sold that to a Recon for some some cash and uh, some shares in uh, in Recon Africa. Uh, you know, apparently uh, there's a lot of talk on on the uh, the, the share chats, uh, and it can get quite toxic. But I really don't see the the, the news as uh, of, of the. Uh, uh, the sale as as being very very positive for for this asset for this uh, for this license and and this basin, so um, uh, there are a lot of uh, vested interests out there. Anyway, um, we've got one more video uh, to come um, so that people can follow the story of um, of how how drilling operations uh, how they how they progress and roll out, and we'll see ultimately what the uh, the outcome of the drilling is. Thanks for watching. I hope uh, to see you back on our channel before too long.